What's up, people? Here at the lake with Jared. Gonna do a little bass fishing, a little cat fishing. See what we can get ourselves into. It's a nice day. It's been way too long since we've been out here, so see how it goes. Jared's got a fish on. I had my drag roll loose because the pole's not the best. Well, it came up to the surface, right? I haven't seen it yet. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming a catfish, but. What do you use it for bait? A little minnow lure. Oh, it's probably a bass. Oh, what did I say, catfish? Yeah. I meant bass. I don't know why I said that. Damn, must be decent. Well, this pole's also small, so I'm letting it kind of wear itself out a little bit. It's coming up right here. I mean, it's not fighting crazy, so it's not a, I don't think it's a big one. Oh, it's a decent bass. All right, I gotta get down here, though. Are you, can you grab it? I could try. Maybe a foot long. Here, you hold the camera then. Matt, I'm trying to. Oh, it's a decent one. That's what we came here for. First bass. Heck yeah. Ugh. That's a nice one. That's what we came here for. So we've only been out here, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so. Right there, people. Largemouth bass. Not bad. Yep. I'd say it's maybe a foot long or so. We're not gonna keep anything, right? Uh, not the bass, even though they were pretty good last time, but. but yeah, there it is, people. Go let it loose. I'm not gonna go way down there, so I'm just gonna chunk it in there. Jared's always so graceful on his releases. So, so far, I broke my bait casting rod. Not broke it, but broke the uh, line on it, and I, I don't want to sit here and re-spool it. So luckily, I did bring another pole, so I've been using that, but I just lost a uh, Senko right now. Oh, there's a bunch of rocks and stuff around here, but they did clean up this area. This looks way different than the last time I was here. Wasn't able to drive up this way either, but they read all, redid all this, raised it up, made a nice little point, and uh, it's been pretty good. Jared's been getting some bites. I got some bites on my catfish rod a while ago, so I'm going to tie up something else and get busy. But I also have this. So this is the Treb Lab FX100. It's a water-resistant Bluetooth speaker, but it also is a power bank, and I'm using it to charge the GoPro battery right now. Um, I would play some music on there, but don't want to get copyright issues, but the thing gets pretty loud. Not crazy loud, but it's perfect for out here. And what I really wanted it for was for when I go kayak fishing. I can just clip it on. It's got a little clip here, so I could just clip that on in the front and just jam out as I'm cruising along the lake. Beautiful day today. But we need to get more than that one bass. All right, so we got a lot of little fish popping over here at this point. So we're gonna use some little swim bait too. That's uh, some fishing line over here. I keep getting snapped. yeah, and all those. I don't know if you people will be able to see, but there's a bunch of branches and rocks and stuff that go out that way. We are looking out for snakes, by the way. Yes, Jared's already mentioned that like 50 times.
Matt just had a freaking monster. Damn it, I spit it out. Dude, that thing was huge. I saw it. Did you see it on the thing? No, I was far back there, but damn, that thing was big. That was probably twice the size of mine. Yeah. Holy cow. That was a trophy bash right there. That was huge. The mouth was probably about that big. Good grief. I tried running to go get the camera and I was about halfway coming back. I'm gonna check the footage real quick, see if I even saw it. There it goes. This one's not as big. It's not as big, but he just threw it out the next cast. It's a decent one. Damn, it is big size. Oh, it is big. It's bigger than mine. Holy cow. Hold on. Let me go down there and get it, Matt. Holy dang it. Ugh. Wow. Sorry, the camera angle wasn't the best right now. Let's try to get out. I fell on some rocks, people. Dang, that one's big. All right, you had to do outdo little Bubba. I had to. Yeah, the other one was probably a little bit bigger than this. Oh yeah, the other one was definitely bigger than that one. That one's not bad. 16 inches, 17? Maybe, it's probably about like a two and a half, three pounds. Sure, you don't want to do a catch, clean, and cook? Nah. Not with these bad boys. These are One more uh, close look at it real quick. In the mouth. All right. I might like I found uh, my faithful chatterbait. I might need to switch to that if I have one. That's two cast and two bass right there. I wish you would have hooked the other one. This one is a lot smaller than the other one. All right, that's one to one. All right, people, so we're calling it. We each got us a nice sized bass. I think mine was a little bigger. They're both keepers though. Yeah, and then the one that got away, shoot dang. Well, I actually, I'm not gonna BS everybody. I actually saw it too, and it was pretty big. It was bigger than both ones we caught. Um, it looked fatter and maybe a little bit longer because it was rolling and stuff and like you said when it uh It came up to jump and it spit the dang hook out and then the next cast is when I caught the one on video And then uh, about two casts after that I got snagged and lost it Yeah, we uh next time we come fishing it either be on the kayak or we'll come back and have more lures to fish with um, What was the one that you caught the bass with? Chatterbaits Chatterbaits well, probably go pick up some of those at Walmart sometime this week. Uh, I know that's what we were using last year too. Jigs. We need more like football jigs and stuff like that. So yeah, it, what 87 degrees right now. It's, like I mentioned in my video, it's supposed to start raining tomorrow and then a uh, like 90% chance on Saturday. So I told Matt maybe a Monday since it's a working day for most people, we can come back out and maybe kayak or something. Yeah, depending on the weather. But if it was a day like today with hardly any wind, it would have been good day for that yeah but tomorrow i think uh, the cold front is supposed to come through where it's supposed to be the mid 70s right now it's like i said mid 80s so it's i don't know it'd be a better fishing i think but uh we're gonna head back i don't know if uh matt's gonna cook something up or not uh we'll have those wings defrosting so we're gonna air fry some chicken wings and uh toss them around and you're gonna make some uh some wing sauce hand cut french fries i or can or I actually bought those the steak fries. We could just do those if you don't want to cut them up. Yeah, 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 okay. But I guess we'll check back in when we get back home, and uh, I guess you're going to show them the chicken and stuff. Yeah, I'll probably add that to this video because I don't think I recorded enough while they're at the lake. All right, guys, we're going to check back in once we get home. All right, people, so we're going to air fry some chicken wings and some steak taters. I'm just putting a little bit of oil on these and I roll them around. So they'll get a little crispy in the air fryer. Daisy May looks like she's wanting some. She just staring. Yeah. What shirt is that? The Pagne family. Pagne family, cool. It doesn't so a little frozen. It's all right. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this Jane's Crazy seasoning. It's a mixed up pepper, just to give it a little seasoning on there. A little, a little pepper. Uh, air fry into it I guess and other stuff that's in there you didn't see that I'm almost out of this stuff I've been using it on a lot of stuff you're almost shooting blanks all right well these are seasoned up now so I 
guess I gotta put them on this rack. Jared uh, put the fries in the basket. I was gonna cut up some potatoes, but I guess he thought I was gonna take the easy way out, but it's easier on me, so. Da -da -da -da, my regular buddy Crocker. So how long are these supposed to go in the air fryer? Until they're cooked. Are they all gonna fit? We're gonna find out. You like the uh, drums, right? Or the drumsticks? The drumettes. And I like the flat, so that works out good. They should all fit on there. I'll follow you over. I ain't no freaking expert on this crap. I don't even know what I'm doing. What do you think of this new oven? It's not too shabby. It's pretty good. Oh, Jared's cooking. I did all the work right there. I hit start. All right, so we got this in here. Got some fries, some of them chicken wings. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but hey, that's what we're gonna eat. Let's see what we got for the wing sauce. All right, people, so I still had some of those wing sauces from last time that Jared had picked up. Uh, we got some mango habanero, Asian zing, and medium sauce, just regular buffalo sauce. False. There's one more. Oh, and Caribbean jerk. Matt's favorite. So yeah, we already uh, tested out all these on another video, but hey, we're having wings wing sauce so we could have had some largemouth bass to eat for dinner uh but the fish that we did catch were keepers for sure but i don't know i always like to catch and release bass even though the last time we did keep those uh we made some bass tacos and one one time I made bass tacos. oh you made bass tacos yeah and then uh when i went home because i wasn't living up here this was oh, probably right. two Ryan years Mason's ago still living here because we uh we clean you clean them in the back over here by the back porch yeah. We had that little table out and everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that was, I think that was like in 2019 or so, but. He'll link the video. He'll find it on my channel. Jared wants y'all to go over and subscribe. Jared Crocker. All 11,000 of Matt's subscribers. Look at Matt's face that he hit 11,000. <laughs> yeah! Mom and Dad hit 9,000. Yeah, you're, you're. You're, you're. All right, people, so fries are done, nice and crispy. That's how Jared likes them. I like my fries softer, but I left them in a little longer for him. And then I uh, moved these up from the bottom closer up to the top, so hopefully we'll be in here soon. Jared's been getting into this fighting sport. What is it? It's a team combat. Team combat? Yeah, I think it's across seas. It's an older thing, I think, but uh, it's four on four. They each fight. Five minute rounds, whoever lasts the longest or does not get knocked out stays in the ring and has to fight the next person until all four people are gone. So it could end up being, right now it's one guy left against three, but they each have to fight individually, so. Yeah, it's been pretty interesting. Uh, and it's a little tiny ring too, so it's. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'd never seen that or heard of that before, but pretty cool. All right, people, so as I was cooking, that front started to come through. <laughs> God, and I wasn't even recording. Whoa, the whole thing? No, when you ran into whatever you ran into. But it's windy, it's coming through. Oh yeah. Shouldn't it be blowing this way? Well, it's it's a front. Time. It feels like it's coming from the north. There it goes. It's probably because the house was blocking some of it. I mean, it's coming through, I told you. Good thing I got all that stuff done today, like the plants. But it's Finally gonna get some rain. Yeah, we definitely need, I was showing them the cracks in my video. Look right, like over here. And right here, look at this. That's bad. Yeah. It's either, uh, it'll be a swamp tomorrow though. Well, tomorrow we'll be able to have the windows open. Yurt, yurt, say some uh, energy. Yurt, yurt, who says that? Corey and Sitha Davis. Shoot, dang. We'll, we'll have the out. windows up tomorrow. It's supposed to be in the 70s for the next couple of days. Get some rain. I'm excited. I'm hungry. Perfect. Food's almost done. I flipped the uh, drumette in the flat. <laughs> it 
This is gonna be too many nice. I know that's a. I was gonna say that's a shout out to the person who owns Subscribe because every time I say that, it says it hurts their ears. <laughs> so today just keeps getting more and more interesting. It's pretty windy. It's starting to blow up the shingles here. So I don't have any nails, so I'm just gonna screw them down for now so it doesn't rip them up because that way it's a lot of uh, darker clouds. Mr. Go Getter over here. Bubba. Bubba. At least let's hold it down some for now. Screws on shingles, people. Right, right. Right, right. And it's just over the porch, by the way, so if it leaks, oh, it's well. not in the house. I saw it ripping all the stuff up, but it's definitely getting windy. Had to take the flag down. I think he took the umbrella down on the back. Oh, buzzer don't care. What'd you say? The you buzzard. Mean? I didn't say bitch. I said buzzard. Here. I'll put this on the porch for now. That ought to hold it for now, though. All right, let's get back to the wings. I'm going to try this Asian zing. I think it's one I liked last time. All right, people, so we got the wings done. I'm hungry. I'm gonna do something. Buffalo sauce on the first one. We ain't gonna sit here and record the whole thing, but it's still pretty hot. <coughs> it's got a little bit of a kick to it, a little bit of a zing, I guess you could say. <laughs> Dang. Excuse me, dogs. These wings are pretty good. It's only, a, I think, $4.50 for a pack of them, of eight. Anyways, these are pretty good. Caribbean jerk. That little uh, air fryer you works pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm not going to sit here and eat all these wings in front of you. So this one's pretty good right there. Chili pepper, soy, and ginger. Yeah. I actually like the mango habanero one. But you gotta have the buffalo wings. All right, so we're not gonna sit here and eat. Well, we are gonna. Well, actually, no, we're not. I'm going to my room. You're going to the recliner. Peace, people. Peace. My fish was bigger. Mine was way bigger. All right, people. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. What are you talking about the fish? Too many nice.